Okay, so continuing our conversation here at the Neal House um, about what William Neal went through and what he saw, can you tell the audience what took place in this room? This room probably had the most dramatic scene of any of the house. It's been recorded in history because ominously enough, it was in this room that William Neal's son, Peter, was killed. And this happened during the time of the Cortina raids in 1859. And the way that, uh, if I could reconstruct it from what was written on that particular period, the bed most likely was right there. The shots were fired from the northeast side of the street side, which is there, and they likely came through that window. And here's the way that that whole thing came about, is that when Cortina laid, laid siege to the city of Brownsville in 1859, uh, it was on a dispute about uh, racial inequality at the time. It was, it was a very, very complex matter. And um, sadly enough, he went about the city and, and the people that he was with, and they were firing shots and in, inadvertently. the shot came through and killed young uh, Peter Neal. Now, at that point in time, the uh, Peter Neal was mortally wounded. He took his young son, which would have been William Neal's grandson, and that's William II, and he hit him underneath the bed, and then he went on outside and, and he expired. senior was up in Santa Maria at the time and of course with his wife and I'm sure that uh, I'm certain that uh, Peter Neal's wife was here at that time as well and of course they had the servants and the allied family members but the town was in chaos because it was under siege and uh, people were going up and down the streets firing them and whatever so it was, it was a very very difficult situation to go through. Can you um, give us some background on Juan Cortina and the Cortina Wars? And then why did he have a thing for William Neal? That's a very good question. When that whole affair started, uh, that, is, that actually started in 1859. It started in downtown Brownsville, there at Market Square. There was an incident that occurred whereby one of the Cortina family's servants was being mistreated in the plaza, uh, and it was actually for a likely cause, because uh, he was uh, creating a disturbance, and the marshal at the time took him under control and took him out and was proceeding off to jail, jail with him. Well, Juan Cortina was coming by at that very moment and mistook it for a situation that it was not quite as. And he thought that there was an abuse of the Latinos by the Anglophiles that were in the region. And hence that started the whole uh, battle in, in that particular, what's called the First Cortina War. Why was William Neal involved in that? Because, of course, William Neal was an Anglophile. Cortina's whole mission was to reclaim this part of the country uh, for the Latinos and, and maybe even seceded back to Mexico. And uh, so therefore, William Neal to him, to Cortina, appeared as a usurper, as a person that was uh, uh, taking the lands that were traditionally his. Uh, it was a very, very tragic misconception on his part, and a lot of people suffered from that. But there we have it. And can you explain a little bit what Brownsville was like during those wars? Like, who else died besides Peter Neal? There were a number of people that died, literally on both sides of that, uh, extending off into the period preceding the Civil War. And then the second Cortina Wars were right directly after the Civil War. So it extended for uh, 20 years there. But what happened most monumentally that, that occurred as a result of that whole endeavor, the Siege of Brownsville, was the depopulation of the, the Lower Valley. They were on a mission in order to colonize this part of the country, and of course the, the people were coming in from the East Coast, from all over, from Europe, and uh, they were enjoying uh, the freedoms of, uh, of new areas of development. When the Cortina Wars began, it set a fear in, in the minds of the incoming people, and rightly so, because you could not go out into the environment, into the lands away from the city, even in the center of the city, that by Florentine, without being under siege for nefarious agents. And so hence, the whole colonization effort halted. And, uh, and people of Brownsville actually had to go to Austin and appeal to the, uh, the governor of 
Texas, which was Sam Houston at the time, with the police and also the evidence. My ranch was raided, my house was burned, my stock was driven off, and all of this. For all of that period of time in order to gain the, uh, the assistance uh, from state government in order to expulse the banditry that was taking place at the time. And like I say, William Neal was a stark example of how this really affected his life. When I look back upon how William Neal took that, uh, he was a very, very stoic man. I couldn't have done it in the manner that he did. He must have had a, a strong character beyond uh, even uh, calculation, as standing where we are now. If you can imagine his house burned down in Santa Maria with all of his possessions, all of his diaries that he had accumulated from the very beginning of uh, his uh, involvement here in the New World, all of that was gone up in smoke. And then, it, within the same day, he found out that his son uh, had been shot. Uh, and th th at that point in time, they may not even have known that the grandson was still alive. And yet this man, through the rest of his life, and I've seen the writings that he's done and the, and the interviews that were done uh, with him, remained uh, without any embitterment, which is like phenomenal. How could that happen? But uh, he remained as a positive person and he went onward. And was his house in Santa Maria, Nielsville, was it burned down also because of the Cortina Wars? Yes, that was the very launching of that whole era. Is, uh, that was a part of it because all of the ranchitos that were out in the uh, in the area apart from Brownsville that were owned by anyone of non-Latino origin, those were the ones that were targeted. Actually, Cortina had a hit list, and it was it was published. He published a manifesto that claimed that he wanted to take this this portion of the he and his and his uh, cronies wanted to take this portion of land back. Uh, from the invaders, as he would say. And uh, we really have to get beyond that in our concept. Uh, that was a terrible period in our past. It happened. And as I say, William Neal was strong enough of character. He did not let that affect him. He went on to be mayor twice. He was on every committee you could possibly imagine. Uh, he was a contributor to the society in a huge manner. Uh, so uh, a lot of people would have curled up and died at that point in time, but not William Neal. The final part of RGB History Revisited, what's in store for Brownsville's oldest wooden structure?